Good morning folks, afternoon, evening, wherever you happen to be at. Uh, this is Mechanic Dave. Today I'm working on a 1999 Chevy uh, Silverado half ton with the 5.7. Uh, I just put in a new distributor. The old one had quite a bit of lateral play and I believe it was misfiring in the cap. And speaking of cap, someone had broken off one of the tabs on the distributor and tried to use this homemade contraption to hold it down <clears throat> which caused for erratic uh, operation um, so I just wanted to cover how to adjust one of these suckers you don't want to use the traditional timing light you want to use your scan tool if you happen to have say I got the snap on Zeus um, and I just used it for the first time to adjust the uh, cam retard and uh, you want to get that down to zero I'll let you know exactly how I did it. Um, I'm a one-man band, one-man operation, so therefore, this is how I've got the pedal rigged up. I've, I want to order one of those pedal things you can put in to, to not have to MacGyver something like this. Anyways, you want to get it right at a thousand. So, <clears throat> loosen up your distributor a little bit so it's not going all over the place. Uh, obviously, when you put it in, have the number one, the p number one piston at top dead center. And when you drop in the distributor, try to get it pointed at uh, number one as possible. Um, put your cap on, your rotor, all that stuff, the plugs. Um, fire it up. <clears throat> so you're going you're gonna to go into the scan tool on here. I had to go to, it's under, let me get out of here so I can show you exactly where I had to go. So when you're at the main screen, go to engine. Go to data display. You would think it would be under engine data or misfire, but actually, actually it's under VAP EGR data. The great thing is about this screen is you can monitor engine RPM. So while you're running the data as well, let's see. Where did that sucker go? Engine speed. So that's one thing you want to monitor. That's the closest I can get to a thousand with my wood contraption. <laughs> so next you're gonna, on the right hand side of the screen, go down to CM, uh, CMP retard. So we're down to seven now. Um, scan tools live, ready to roll. All I'm gonna do is go over here to the engine bay. Be very careful, watch for moving parts. I mean, if you're in this business, you know what the hell you're doing. And if you're not, then still just be careful. Uh, a uh, distributor out of timing would be the least of your worries if you hit that fan. Anyways, so put your scan tool over here with one with your left hand on the distributor back here. See, mine's loose and ready to be turned. So watch the CMK or CMP retard. We're gonna want to get that to zero. So I am actually turning mine clockwise right now in small increments. Down to four, down to three, down to one, zero. Yeah, let me go a little bit more, zero. At which point you're gonna wanna go ahead and tighten that bolt and confirm it's at zero. Then you go ahead and shut it off and start it and recheck, make sure it hasn't advanced negative or positive. You want it plus or minus two. So I hope that helps you out guys. If you guys need any help with this, let me know. I'm not the best with this. I actually learned this method today and wanted to share it with you folks because hey that's what YouTube's for. You guys have an outstanding day and take it easy.